most popular coffee brands and chains. The value of a morning cup of coffee cannot be overemphasized for the vast majority of us. Your morning brew probably provides you with a much needed energy boost, and it's a cup of comfort on even the most groggy days. According to the National Coffee Association, 62% of Americans drink coffee with an average daily consumption of roughly three cups. Although American caffeine consumption habits are always evolving, there are several manufacturers, roasters and brands that have maintained their dominance as the nation's top coffee suppliers for many years, if not decades. In today's video, we're going to be sharing with you the most popular and successful coffee brands and chains. To find out what they are, just keep on watching the video and be sure to subscribe for more. Starbucks With more than 30,000 stores in 78 nations, Starbucks will undoubtedly have an impact on the world's coffee market in 2023. Starbucks is already by far the biggest coffee brand in the world in terms of sales and in the years to come, its scale is only expected to increase. The first site of the coffee franchise was established in 1971 at Seattle's Pike Place Market. The three people who founded the company were motivated to create Starbucks by Pete's Coffee and Tea's success. After a decade in operation, Starbucks had established four shops throughout Seattle, and their premium, freshly brewed coffee was quickly gaining popularity. As the firm shifted hands from the founders to Howard Schultz in the 1990s, stores began to trickle into North America during its gradual expansion phase. Starbucks expanded internationally and established itself as the biggest coffee producer in the world by the turn of the 21st century, a name the business has continued to use ever since. Starbucks' remarkable success can be attributed to the strong brand and positive customer relationships they have created. Customers can visit Starbucks in Bangkok or New York City and have the same experience. Since Nestle acquired this division of the business, the Starbucks coffee brand has expanded into grocery shops. Starbucks has been successful in this market for the same reasons that the firm was once cautious to offer its brand of coffee in other locations. Anywhere customers purchase a bag of Starbucks coffee grounds, they are aware of what they will receive. Green Mountain Coffee Roasters The simplest way to describe the early history of Green Mountain Coffee Roasters is to describe Robert Stiller, the company's founder. After starting the company that produced cigarette rolling papers called Easy Wider, Stiller kind of stumbled into the coffee business. He impulsively purchased a retail coffee business in Vermont after trying their delectable brew. Green Mountain Coffee Roasters eventually got off the ground but it took a few years before it started making money. But in the 1990s, the business began to stray from storefront sites and incline more towards selling 80 different kinds of coffee to its over 2,000 customers along the East Coast. Green Mountain Coffee Roasters began shipping internationally the next year and concentrated all of their efforts on producing ground coffee goods. Green Mountain Coffee teamed up with Keurig in 1997 to become the first roaster to provide their groundbreaking single-serve technology in the form of K-cups for sale in supermarkets. In less than a decade, Green Mountain totally acquired Keurig Inc. and renamed the company Keurig Green Mountain to reflect both endeavors. The acquisition of Dr. Pepper Snapple Group for $18.7 billion and rebranding as Keurig Dr. Pepper is the most recent event in the company's history. This beverage beer moth generates over $6 billion in revenue yearly, yet coffee sales account for a relatively modest share of this total. They continue to be regarded as one of the biggest coffee companies in the world because of their connections to the coffee industry and their consistently well-liked K-cup products offered in supermarkets. Dunkin' Donuts when William Rosenberg of Quincy, Massachusetts, noticed a need in the market for providing lunch for shipyard workers, he decided to fill it. He offered a range of goods, but he realized that donuts and coffee were his best-selling commodities. He capitalized on the craze by opening a Dunkin' Donuts location with these specialties. The shop initially had great success. In Massachusetts, Dunkin' Donuts began opening stores, 
and soon it would dominate the coffee industry worldwide. Dunkin didn't begin selling its brand of ground coffee and beans in retail establishments like Walmart, Kroger and CVS until the middle of the 2000s. Like their rivals at the time, this was done to extend their brand into the supermarket industry. The growth was successful, as Dunkin' Donuts is still one of the most popular coffee brands in the country, selling approximately 20 different types of bagged ground coffee. Folgers The largest manufacturer of ground coffee goods in America is Folgers. The brand's beginnings may be traced back to 1850 when James A. Folger founded a special coffee importing business known for its high standards. When marketer Frank Ather improved marketing operations, Folgers had a substantial uptick in growth during the 1900s. Throughout history, Folgers has been at the forefront of developments in the grocery store coffee sector, including the introduction of Folgers Crystals, an instant coffee product. The success of the company's promotion, which included the catchphrase, the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup, contributed to its expansion. The J.M. Smucker Company purchased Folgers in 2008, and the company has since enjoyed consistent success. Maxwell House Maxwell House is another venerable coffee brand in the U.S., having been established in 1892. The Maxwell House Hotel in Tennessee, one of the coffee's earliest devoted consumers, inspired the brand's moniker. Customer feedback was extraordinarily good, so Maxwell House began establishing and growing its coffee brand. The early years of Maxwell House's marketing in the 1920s are largely responsible for its success. The company started marketing its coffee with the catchphrase, good to the last drop and invested a significant amount of money in print, radio and television advertising. Maxwell House broke a record for the amount of money it spent on advertising and swiftly rose to the top of the coffee market in America at the time. Maxwell House also kept up with the technological developments that emerged in the late 1990s like automatic drip coffee makers. To accommodate these advancements, they made the appropriate adjustments to their products. Even if they are less significant in the market now, Maxwell House has remained one of the most well-known coffee brands in America for more than a century because of its strategy in the coffee industry. Coffee is one of life's simple pleasures and it's the go-to pick-me-up for so many of us and oftentimes we get them from one of the aforementioned coffee chains. According to certain research, Drinking coffee regularly may be associated with improved health and even a longer lifespan. Thus, it just might be beneficial for everyone. So, don't feel bad when you crave a trip to one of the world's most dominating coffee companies. You just learned about the most successful and well-known coffee brands in the industry. Have you ever tried any? Let us know in the comments down below. And be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Bye!